Welcome to ASFOB Tutoring. In this video we will go over 15 automotive and shop information questions for the ASFOB test. To study more, download the ASFOB Prep 2024 from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Question 1. The adhesive that is usually supplied in two parts which must be mixed prior to use is A. White glue. B. Contact cement. C. Silicone rubber. D. Epoxy. The answer is D. Epoxy is an adhesive that is typically supplied in two parts, a resin and a hardener, which must be mixed together before use. Once mixed, they undergo a chemical reaction that creates a strong bond. White glue, contact cement, and silicone rubber do not require mixing. Question 2. What is the use of an anvil? A. To carve wood handles. B. To hold two pieces of glued wood together as they dry. C. To grind metal bearings until they are smooth. D. To shape hot metal. The answer is D. An anvil is used to shape hot metal. Blacksmiths place heated metal on the anvil and hammer it to forge and shape it into the desired form. The anvil provides a hard, stable surface that withstands repeated hammering, making it essential for metalworking tasks. Question 3. When the clutch is engaged on a manual transmission, the clutch pedal will be A. Down B. Up C. Halfway down D. Halfway up The answer is B. When the clutch is engaged on a manual transmission, the clutch pedal is up. This means the clutch plates are pressed together, allowing the engine to transmit power to the wheels. Pressing the pedal down disengages the clutch, separating the plates, and disconnecting the engine from the transmission. Question 4. If the universal joints are broken and the car is standing still, the car will A. Not move when the engine is revved up. B. Increase in speed. C. Work as usual. D. Become impossible to push. The answer is A. If the universal joints are broken and the car is standing still, the car will not move when the engine is revved up. Universal joints are part of the drivetrain, and if they are broken, the power from the engine cannot be transmitted to the wheels, preventing movement. Question 5. When a spark plug fires, it is part of the A. Power stroke B. Exhaust stroke C. Intake stroke D. Compression stroke. The answer is D. When a spark plug fires, it is part of the compression stroke. During the compression stroke, the air fuel mixture is compressed in the cylinder, and the spark plug ignites it, causing combustion. This explosion drives the piston down, initiating the power stroke. Question 6. Most automobile engines are A. Two stroke cycle engines. B. Three-stroke cycle engines. C. Four-stroke cycle engines. D. Six-stroke cycle engines. The answer is C. Four-stroke engines are the most common type in automobiles. They efficiently convert fuel into power through four distinct piston strokes, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. This design offers a balance of power, efficiency, and emissions control, making it the preferred choice for most vehicles. Question 7. There are four types of fuel injection used in cars today. They are throttle body injection, multiport injection, direct injection, and A. A manual continuous electronic flow injection. B. Sequential fuel injection. C. Automatic circuitous injection. D. Manual intermittent injection. The answer is B. Sequential fuel injection is a type where fuel is injected into each cylinder precisely as it's about to start its intake stroke. This method offers better fuel economy, performance, and reduced emissions compared to other types. Question 8. The piston of an internal combustion engine fits inside the A. Crankshaft B. Cylinder C. Radiator D. Brake drum The answer is B. The piston of an internal combustion engine fits inside the cylinder. The cylinder is where the piston moves up and down during the engine's operation, 
facilitating the intake, compression, power, and exhaust strokes that drive the engine. The other components listed serve different purposes and are not related to the piston's motion. Question 9. Compared to a regular nail, a finishing nail has a a larger head and larger diameter. b. Larger head and smaller diameter. c. Smaller head and smaller diameter. d. Smaller head and larger diameter. The answer is C. A finishing nail has a smaller head and smaller diameter compared to a regular nail. This design allows finishing nails to be driven into wood without leaving a noticeable hole, making them ideal for trim work and other applications where appearance is important. Question 10. Uncontrolled, rapid drying of wood, for instance, lumber, causes. A. Warping. B. Harmless discoloration, unless it's green, which indicates rot. C. Checking and cracking. D. An increase in wood strength. The answer is C. Uncontrolled, rapid drying of wood causes checking and cracking. When wood dries too quickly, the outer layers shrink faster than the inner layers, leading to stress within the wood. This stress can result in surface cracks, checking, and deeper fractures, cracking, compromising the wood structural integrity. Question 11. A machine screws are a. Only used for steel building construction. b. Most often used for fastening metal parts securely together. c. Used with only nut that has the correct diameter. d. Used to cut threads in sheet metal. The answer is b. Machine screws are most often used for fastening metal parts securely together. They are designed to be inserted into pre-threaded holes or used with nuts to hold metal components tightly in place, commonly in machinery, electronics, and other metalwork applications. Question 12. An Allen wrench is A. Is made exclusively by the Allen Manufacturing Company, LLC. B. Fits all kinds of screws. C. Fits screws with an octagonal recess in the head. D. Fits screws with a hexagonal recess in the head. The answer is D. An Allen wrench fits screws with a hexagonal recess in the head. Allen wrenches, also known as hex keys, are designed specifically to fit into hexagonal sockets, allowing the user to turn screws and bolts with hexagonal recesses. Question 13. In arc welding, TIG stands for A. Turner insertion gas. B. Tungsten inert gas. C. Torch inert gasification. D. Tin impressible galvanization. The answer is B. In arc welding, TIG stands for tungsten inert gas. TIG welding uses a tungsten electrode to produce the weld and an inert gas, such as argon, to protect the weld area from contamination by the atmosphere. This method is known for producing high quality, precise welds. Question 14. A carpenter's square is used to a. Indicate if something is level. b. Indicate if something is vertical. c. Draw lines at right angles, 90 degrees, to each other. d. Draw lines at right angles, 180 degrees, to each other. The answer is c. A carpenter's square is used to draw lines at right angles, 90 degrees, to each other. It's a versatile tool commonly used in carpentry to ensure accuracy in cutting and measuring angles, particularly for creating square corners. Question 15. To fuse metals, gas welding uses. A. Oxygen and acetylene to produce a flame. B. Oxygen and fluorine to produce a flame. C. Nitrogen and acetylene to produce a chemical reaction. D. Flux and acetylene to create an arc. The answer is A. To fuse metals, gas welding uses oxygen and acetylene to produce a flame. The combination of oxygen and acetylene generates a high temperature flame, which is used to melt and join metals together in the welding process. This method is commonly referred to as oxyacetylene welding. To study more, download the ASFOB Prep 2024 from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.